today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful loop stitch. It's such a great stitch and so easy to do. This is how the front looks like and this is how the back looks like. This is a great stitch for a pillowcase, for a little rug or a blanket, a baby blanket. It's a really, really easy pattern and it's just great. And now I will show you what we need. I am using today this Burnett Super Value yarn. You can use any yarn you want. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. I would just recommend to go a hook size bigger than the yarn uh, recommends so it's nice and loose. And you will need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. And let's get started. We will start with a slip knot. And now we will just crochet some chains. And you chain as many as you want. It's just important um, that you get the desired length you want. You don't have to count or anything. You just keep crocheting till you reach the desired length you want. For example, for your pillowcase or for your baby blanket. So keep crocheting your chain till you have your desired lengths and I will see you back in a minute. Reach your desired length, we will need the second chain from our hook. The chain on the hook itself doesn't count, so we count one and two. You insert your hook, pull up your yarn, go through, and you have two loops on your hook. We will work in single crochets, this is in the US terms and in the UK it's a double crochet. Go into the next chain and again pull up the loop, two loops on your hook and work a single crochet. And you will repeat this all the way along. One single crochet in every stitch. So do this and I will see you back in a minute. Just one single crochet in every stitch. So this was our first round. For the second round, you will chain one and turn your work. In this very first stitch over here, you will just insert your hook. No yarn over or nothing. You just go with your hook into this first stitch. And now we have the yarn wrapped around our finger. What we're doing now with the hook, we are grabbing this loop and we are pulling through. Now we have this loop around our finger and here on our hook, we have three loops. The first one here, it's twisted. It's normal because we just grabbed the yarn from our finger. Now we are letting the loop on our finger go. You can even hold this with your other hand. We grab the yarn and we finish like a single crochet. So we grab our yarn and we go through all the three loops on our hook. And here is the first loop. I show, it, show you again. Here's our next stitch. So we will insert a hook into the next stitch. We have again the yarn around a finger, we grab it, we grab the other part of the yarn and we pull up and again we have three loops on our hook. The first one is always twisted, that's normal. Now let go of the loop, use your other hand and just push it down. Now we grab our yarn and we will finish the stitch like a single crochet. And our second loop is done. I show you one more time. You see, it's really, really easy. It's actually harder to explain than to do. Just give it a try and you will see it's really, really easy. So one more time with my hook, I'm going to the next stitch. 
the yarn is wrapped around my finger, I'm grabbing the yarn and I'm pulling it through. Again, three loops on my hook. Let the loop go. Hold it with your finger and finish the stitch with a single crochet. And you will repeat this in every stitch. I show you now a little bit faster. You will see when you get the hang out of it, it's really, really easy and fast to do. Like I said, it's just actually harder to explain than actually to do it. So repeat this in every stitch. And that's how it's starting to look. I'm almost here to the end. What I just wanted to show you, it's really important that you don't miss the last stitch because it actually doesn't look like a stitch, but it is a stitch. I just wanted to remind you because we're not the edge, the will be not straight. And that's why it's important not to miss the last stitch. And this last stitch is being the same. You just insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull up, let go, hold, and finish it with a single crochet. And now you can see, now it's nice and even. And this is how it looks from the front. For round three, we will be repeating row one, which is just a row of single crochets, but we will always chain one and turn. And into the very first stitch over here, make a single crochet. Now to the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up, two loops on your hook, and work your single crochet. Make one single crochet in every stitch. And I see you back in a minute. I'm here in my last stitch, and the same over here, don't miss it. It's very important not to miss the last stitch. Make a single crochet and your third row is done. For round four, we will chain one and turn. And now we will be making the loops again. So this is our first stitch. We will insert our hook and just repeat making our loops. We hold and we go through, insert, grab the yarn, pull up, three loops on a hook, let go, hold it with your finger, I always hold it like this, and finish the loop. And you will repeat those two rows, it's going to be one row of loops, chain one and turn, one row of single crochet chain one and turn, one row of loops, and then you will repeat this as long as you want your project to be. That's how it looks like when you keep repeating those two rows. And I just love it. That's how the front looks like and that's how the back looks like. You see, it's a really, really easy pattern. And once you figure out how to do those loops, you see, it's really, really easy and it grows really fast. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the stitch. Have a great day and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.